everyone, it's Trader Joe's Grocery Shopping Haul Day, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I got is this uh, Trader Joe's Crunchy Curls, a tasty lentil and potato snack. So I haven't tried it before, but it looked pretty interesting. Let's see if you guys can see this. There we go. See it up. There you go. Um, but they're like these little curls, and 31 curls are 130 calories. 4.5 grams of fat and 4 grams of fiber. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. It's, uh, what does it say? Trader Joe's Crunchy Curls are crunchy, curly snacks, of course, made with lentils and potatoes. If you didn't know better, you might just think they're potato curls. But, ah, there's the rub. What? There's the rub. I don't know. You do know better. And because you do, you can enjoy the crunch knowing that they're getting... 4 grams of fiber and 3 grams of protein in every serving. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm going to give these a shot and I'll let you guys know how they are. Okay? Um, okay. The other thing is this week I'm going to make polenta. Polenta is one of the, thing, the first things that I tried when I started um, doing Weight Watchers to replace pasta. So um, I think... I think spaghetti squash was the first thing that I did to try to replace pasta. And that was alright, it was just a little bit on the watery side, but then I was looking through the aisles and I saw some um, polenta, so I'm like, you know what, let me, let me give it a shot. So this thing right here, what I do is I slice them into about, I don't know, inch, half an inch, um, and I'll either bake them, broil them, this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to saute them in a pan. So I'm going to saute them, um, slice them, saute them, um, spray the pan with this canola oil. It's from Trader Joe's, of course, it's Trader Joe's haul, but it's um, zero calories, zero fat. So I'm going to spray the pan with this. I'll show you guys, but anyway, I'm going to make polenta with um, sliced cremini mushrooms, um, and the sauce is, here it is, organic spaghetti sauce. And this is a half a cup is 45 calories, zero grams of fat, and two grams of fiber. And then with that, I'll be having um, asparagus spears. Frozen asparagus spears. All natural, no preservatives. So that's my meal for one night. Um, and then, where's that? Oh, here it is. Um, Sunday for breakfast, I'm going to be making some French toast. And this is something I'm going to try, I've never done before, but I'm going to be using the Thomas's English Light um, muffins. They're 100 calories. I'm going to dip them in, excuse me, some almond breeze milk, vanilla flavored. Um, The uh, quick eggs, so quick eggs, it's a quarter cup, is 30 grams of calories, zero fat, and zero fiber. So I'll be um, dipping the uh, muffins into these guys, and then as my side, I'll have some fruit, and then some Morningstar sausage links. So that's going to be my Sunday morning breakfast, and I'll record this, of course, and we'll see together how that turns out. Uh, oh, but the top of the French toast... Instead of using maple syrup, I found this um, wild mane. Can you guys see this? Let's see. Wild mane. Come on. Blueberry fruit sauce. And uh, two tablespoons is 80 calories, zero fat, zero fiber, zero protein. So I'm going to top it with this. Okay. Then... Um, for one of my lunches, I think on Sunday afternoon lunch, I'm going to have, there's this restaurant in Chicago that I really love to go to. It's called Bijan Bistro. It's on State Street, and I always forget the the, the actual name of it. State in Ontario, State Neary, something like that. But they have this salad that is so good. It's like... Um, well, I got the baby romaine. I think it's like a blend of different lettuces and spinach that they use. So I got baby romaine. Um, they put roasted chicken breast on their salad. So again, 
I got the grilled balsamic vinegar and rosemary chicken breast. They put goat cheese on the salad. So I got the uh, silver goat cheese. I'm just going to put a very little bit on there. Or not a very little bit, a very little bit on there. And then they put uh, almonds and dates. So instead of the dates, I've got, um, I got this Trader Joe's antioxidant nut and berry mix. Because instead of getting like a bag of almonds, which I probably won't use all of, and a bag of dates that I probably won't use all of, I decided just to get this, because I know my husband likes to get this mix, so, uh, or mixes like this. So this is just like a, a mix of almonds, cranberries, raisins, blueberries, uh, dried roasted cashews, walnuts, raspberries, um, so I'll put a quarter cup, a quarter cup of this is 140 calories, 8 grams of fat, and 3 grams of dietary fiber. So I'm going to use some of this with the goat cheese, the salad mix, and then as my dressing, I got the uh, raspberry, Trader Joe's raspberry dressing. So I'm going to give that salad a shot over here because it's so good. Two tablespoons of this is 35 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. So I'm excited for that one. Okay, another thing that I plan to do this week is I'm going to make a wrap with um, some tomatoes. You know, my mini pearl grape tomatoes. Um, and this stuff that I really like to get, it's this Trader Joe's Mixed Grilled Vegetable Bruschetta. And it's a mixture of zucchini, eggplant, peppers, tomatoes, and olive oil. Oh my gosh, it is so incredibly good. So I'm going to put this on a wrap with some provolone cheese, some tomato, some baby spinach, and grill that. And then have uh, alongside of that, I'm going to have the uh, lentil and potato curls. This stuff is so good. If you, can, if you can get it, get it, try it, put it on sandwiches. It's good and on a pasta plate, platter. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. Okay. Um, so this is the uh, the cheese I'm going to put on that wrap. It's the uh, Trader Joe's Slice Light Provolone. And um, a slice of this is 80 calories, 4 grams of fat. So that's going to go on there. I got a bag of um, baby spinach. I got the stuff for my, my lunches this week, um, which is a bag of the, um, the soy katash. Let me see soy katash. And again, it's a uh, uh, sweet corn, shelled edamame, and red, pe uh, red peppers. So what I do is I take a half a bag of this. Um, this will be two lunches right here. So, you know, half a bag will go in one container, another half a bag will go into another container. Same thing with this one. It's the uh, organic foursome. It's white corn, sweet peas, sliced carrots, and fancy blue lake green beans. So this will be two different lunches right here. I'll put some chili, uh, Chinese chili paste and a little bit of wasabi um, chili oil on them. It's just a really good, filling, healthy lunch. Um, of course, I have to get my red onions. I got a cucumber for a salad that I'm going to be making with some red vinegar um, to accompany some chicken lime, chicken chili lime burgers I'm going to make this all later this week. Um, the red wine vinegar, that's what I'm going to marinate the cucumbers in. And then the other thing, the last thing, is uh, a couple of bananas. What I'm going to do is uh, slice these put a little bit of sugar on them, saute them, and then put some Cool Whip on them. And that'll be a dessert one night. So um, that's it. That's my haul, my grocery shopping haul. If you have any questions on any of the products that I bought, just uh, shoot them below. Um, of course, at the end of the month, I'll be giving you a review on all the products that I'm trying new, which uh, there are a couple of, actually, I'm trying new. The curls, this stuff. I haven't tried the raspberry dress, so there's a couple of things. So, um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good night. Bye.